Hey there, Internet Drifters. It's Izanami-kun back with VFES number 31. And oh boy, do we have an episode awaiting us. So everything's sort of, you know, normal. We don't have any... We don't have any people to, to try to convince to be part of our faction. And the wall up here is built. And that's the good news. We've, we've, we've got the wall... Mostly built on this side, on this corner. This is the bad news. So we have a Lancer and two pikemen that are protecting a defoliator. I'm not really sure how to go about doing this. I, I have a plan, but I'm, I'm not really sure that it's going to work. I don't have I don't have anything particularly useful so pretty much firepower people power that 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 is all that's all I'm gonna I'm gonna get I wonder how close I can get to them let's see let's see how close you can get before they uh get triggered. So far so good. My thinking here is if I can build this and somehow aggro them to follow me into this and at least some of them will be you know damaged a little bit. Boy that gets big real quick. just keeps expanding and expanding. This might go very badly. So here's 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 the idea. I'm going to aggro them with mats and then very quickly get into here and that tree is going to be in the way. Cut that down. Okay, so he's going to go into into here very quickly. And then the hope is that they'll go through here and 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 that hopefully should kill the Lancer and severely damage at least one of the pikemen. I don't know if this is even long enough, but I guess we're going to have to just see. Okay, let's do this. Maybe we can't hit target. What's your, your range is shit. Wow, your aim is shit, too. This is not looking good. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, please work. Please work. It didn't aggro them at all. I think I just made the situation worse. Hmm. Now what the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> Ow, how did he hit me all the way over there? Jesus. No, no. No, no. No, go this way. Go down here. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Okay, put that down. And you just go. Right leg just straight shot the fuck off. Jeez. Oh, that's nice. So Matt's is going to die now if we don't get him help. Oh my god, why won't they aggro through the tunnel? <laughs> oh boy, I wish I had the ability to call for help. Oh, I didn't even realize that offer it had expired. That sucks. 
Don't know if it would have done any good anyway. Yeah. I figured that was gonna happen. Let's see if this works any better. I've given Purr the bolt-action rifle. It's got the longest range. But Purr is the best shot, so... Aha! Progress! Nice! Okay, so now we just need to get these pikemen down. They're the heavy hitters. Jesus! Purr really is a machine. Jesus. Okay. I think he's got one more hit. <laughs> Purr took them all out, all on his own. That's nice. And now he can take this out. Oh boy. Goodness. Not too shabby. Of course, now I have to deconstruct this mostly useless setup, but that's fine. Actually, I don't have to deconstruct uh, these. These I can just move. Did, did he seriously get food poisoning again? Boy, howdy. That was, that was extreme. But apparently all I needed to do was bring Purr up there. See? Extreme. Yeah, he'll be... He'll be fine. I think. Who was it that lost a leg? Not you. Not you. Onyx. Onyx lost a whole fucking leg. Boy, a lot happened while Purr was busy. Everything broke. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go on this long path to, uh... Bionic replacements and stuff, because... I don't know, Onyx is not going to get by with just that peg leg that I can install. Although he's going to have to, because that's all we got right now. I don't get why I can't take their guns off. Success! He now has a peg leg. It's not super great, but it will work. Better than nothing. Sure. We missed the last guy, so, uh... Oh, hey! And Loki is finished eating everything. Borvalabai. And then there's Gray, Ram, Anteater, and Hummingbird. And Rhino. And then they've got these other... Tokopi! 
Isn't that a Pokemon? Locust. We got some silly, silly names. I wonder what the stories are behind them. You're just carrying around rhinoceroses. That's... Sure. Oh, they're all female, though. That would have come in handy if I had had a rhinoceros. Could have thrown it at those mechanoids. And we finished Coco. That's nice. On to microelectronics. Just skip right over all this stuff. <sighs> the anima tree really does not like all of these structures, but there's nothing I can do. Uh, it went from 60% to 18. That's nice. There's nothing I can do if I want to protect it. Mysterious message has arrived. It seems it was transmitted by a machine persona that refuses to name itself. The message asks that you build a very special monument. Oh, those are good. I don't know what that does. Oh, there's the tough skin gland. Poison synthesis. Those both the, the Venom Fangs and Venom Talon, they, they seem more melee than, uh, than ranged. I do have a lot more melee people, but I don't really like doing melee. It gets really dangerous. Plus, if I need to go melee, then I need this tough skin gland. Well, we have three days to accept the quest, so... How about you tell me in the comments which one you think that I should do? Because all three of those are pretty nice. Uh, this aesthetic shaper doesn't seem like it'd be all that great, but it will it will change people from being ugly if they have a severe handicap in the future like that. So, I mean, if I find a really really good person, that would be that would be good, but. I'm, I'm more between these two, the tech print and the tough skin gland. The tech print will allow me to eventually create things. The, the venom, was it venom fangs and venom talon. And that's cool, you know, I, I will have unlimited ability to create venom fangs and venom talon given that I have the um, resources to do so. But then there's the tough skin gland, which Loki really does not like wearing clothes. And I could really use an additional type of armor to increase his, his, cause he's, I don't want to put him in battle right now because I, I know that he's armored, but Man, one wrong move and it, it could spell the end for Loki. So that would help Loki. That could help Loki, but it would help more than just Loki in the long run. And this would help a random person we don't even have yet. So it may not be helpful at all. So what do you think? Tell me in the comments and next time we come back. Then we'll know which one to accept this for. Uh, that's all for the video. Like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check me out on Patreon. Check out my website, izanamikun.com. And I will see you guys in the next video.